guys can see I actually have a background now so you won't see um, just like cats running around and just a whole lot of stuff going on in the background. So you still might see a cat every now and then but for the most part you'll just see a background. So it is that time of the month. It is Ipsy Bag time. So this month is the February Ipsy Bag and it says pretty in Ipsy pink. There's the card. And um, it says this February we're talking our favorite shades from Dainty to Darling with rule breaking looks for all beauty lovers. So this month the bag is super duper cute. It is a little heart envelope. And this is actually like um, textured, like it's all bumped up. And the back is just a nice uh, plastic pink thing. I actually like this bag. I think this is probably my favorite bag. So there's that. Now let's get into what's inside. So the first thing I'm pulling out is this Lux Flat Definer Brush. I think I already have one of these. Let me double check real quick stupid chair Okay, so no, I don't have another one of these brushes. I do have their concealer brush, um, and I do have um, a brush very similar to this one by BH Cosmetics. So, um, I really do like these brushes, especially for like lower lash line work. I just think these are awesome. So that was a good item this month. Next is this Vintage by Jessica Lipskind. Lipskind. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce it home. Let me take off the packaging. It's a very pretty like almost rose gold type of lip gloss. It is a lip gloss, by the way, in case I miss saying that. So, there it is. It is definitely like a rose gold color, and it's called Pink Sequins. I like the brush applicator. It's not one of those like doe foot um, plastic applicators. There's a swatch. I know it's really hard to see. My lighting definitely needs to be moved around. You guys, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the best place for all this stuff. Anyways, there it is for the hell of it. I'm going to put it on my lips. Just gives my lips a sheen. That's about it. But then again, it is a lip gloss. So, there it is. Okay. So, the next thing I got is um, Naked Cosmetics Eyeshadow Pigment in Sierra Nevada. So, there's wrapping on it. So, give me a second. Okay. So again, this is called Sierra Nevada. There is the color. I'm not a huge fan of loose pigments because they get everywhere. But there it is. It's a very interesting color. It's kind of a brown meets rose gold type color. So 
so. But again, I'm not a huge fan of um, loose pigments at all. So the next thing I got, and I'm really excited about this, this is the Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer Oil. So basically, let's see. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like a primer, but it's also kind of like a treatment. Um, it says... Um, creates an ideal canvas for makeup, reduces the appearance of dry, fine lines, increases moisture in just four weeks, use morning and night, let it absorb into skin before applying makeup. Huh. I'm definitely interested to see how this works. Um, because if it works and it does something for my under eyes, like the rest of my skin is relatively okay. My face is very textured, so... Um, I'm not really worried about the rest of my face. It's, it's going to look how it's going to look. Um, but with regular primer and stuff, it doesn't look as textured. But um, if it works on my under eye areas to keep this like crease that I have on each side from you know, showing up really bad, then I will definitely buy the full size version of it. But there it is. It's just a sample. and I mean, there's a decent amount in there. Like It's a little vile. Um, it's, let me check, it's 0 0.13 fluid ounces, so, is that, and then the last thing in my bag is this, um, Emporium Classics Lotion in candied vanilla so there it is I'm not a huge fan of vanilla like a lot of people might think I'm weird but I really don't like um, well, what is it called um, oh that snowflake candle by Bath and Body Works Something snowflake. I oh, can't remember. Anyways. Woo. I mean, it smells like every other vanilla smelling lotion. It's not horrible. It's not super overpowering. But it is quite thick, so you end up using a good amount. It's not a bad vanilla smell, and I don't even like vanilla, so. But it is super thick, but then again, my hands are probably extremely dry, too. Because it, like, just absorbs right in. Like, my hands just suck it up. Like, I'll show you guys. So... I'm putting that much. That's a good bit. And it's gone. Like, literally, it absorbs so fast into my skin. It's crazy. But then again, my hands are, like, super dry. rings back on. So it says that it has almond extract and argan oil in it. it smells pretty good. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of something but then it also, I don't know, it reminds me of, oh what's the name of it, white mist, white something. It was a perfume or body spray you could get from Walmart a long time ago. Maybe it was Vanilla Mist. I remember being in middle school and having it. White something. Okay, I figured it out. So it's Body Fantasies Fresh White Musk is what it reminds me of. Um, especially if you mixed it with like a little bit of like vanilla lotion or something. 
that is exactly what it smells like anyways it smells pretty good to me and I again I do not like vanilla scents but um, I do like this so yeah and this will definitely come in handy I can just set it by my bed and anytime my hands feel dry like they are like super dry like it's crazy how dry they are They're, I call it alligator skin like if I don't stretch out my hand it's like there's cracks everywhere but in the summer it won't be this bad because I don't know it's tend not to be as dry in the summer and I don't know why I would think that it would be the opposite like in the summer I'd be more dry but it is what it is anyway so that is everything I got from Ipsy my birch box should be here tomorrow or my my birch box my boxy charm should be here tomorrow so I will film that video once I get that and yeah I'm definitely excited to try I think I'm most excited to try this the um, Smashbox photo finish primer oil that's probably what I'm most excited about that in the bag because the bag is just totally cute I love it so in the comments below tell me what you guys got in your ipsy bag and what you're what you guys are most excited about and if you've tried or received any of these items that I have from um, ipsy if you like them did you not like them why did you not like them um, I mean the brush is a dead giveaway of course I'm gonna like it because I use my BH Cosmetics one, but my BH Cosmetics one is actually thicker than this one. So this one will give like more precise lines, and I like that. So, yay for brushes. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to always be kind, and I will see you guys later. Love you. Mwah. Hey beauties, sorry about crap. I just, I do not feel good. I haven't felt good for a few days. Anyways, um, this came in the mail today. I haven't actually opened it. I just broke the um, little seal on the box. So we're going to see what is in this together. So this is the February BoxyCharm box. Okay. So the first thing... I have found is Shrey, I think is what it's called. Looks like a little postcard. And then you open it. 